Okay, so we were asked to define uh, what the ideal project looked like uh, in five years' time without any of the problems or any of the things in the way, which is really hard because we really want to find problems and we really want to identify things that are hard. So what we looked at was we this idea of continuity so that there is uh, a model that is being developed and there's information going into it and it's moving kind of from left to right through time, uh, adding information. So we start with the client who's deciding what they want. Do they want a building or do they want a pyramid? What do they want? Um, and then they're going to an integrated project team that's using uh, collaboration with the occasional robot. Although some people think that's a duck. I don't see that myself. I drew a robot. That was definitely a robot. Anyway, so we're moving through time. So we start with uh, an understanding of context. So we have a tube line under here. We have the site itself. We're, it's being designed by robots, although that might not be ideal for some people. Uh, it's getting uh, automated in the design management through this process of, of kind of developing data. We're providing kind of analytics, so we're understanding uh, how the project is performing. We're building off sites. We're uh, then kind of delivering whole buildings to site that then sense and predict weather patterns and respond accordingly. We have sensing and we have kind of all that sort of uh, kind of uh, fancy kind of DBB uh, big uh, smart city stuff um, so that we end up with a happy client that has had um, good value for money um, that has delivered profit to the project team no one's gone to court and what we've ended up with is an amazing set of assets that fulfills the needs of the <laughs>